Hungry Bear 9562 asked the following question. Oh my god, it's full on double rainbow all the way across the sky. Oh my god. What does this mean? Now, I may not know what a double rainbow means, but I can tell you how to make one at home using some commonly found household items. But before we do this, I need to tell you how a rainbow forms. You see, when we look at a light source like the sun or a lamp or a flashlight, it appears to be white. But it's really composed of all the colors at once. And as these colors move through space, they travel at the same speed. However, when light enters a medium such as glass or water, the different colors start to separate. They start to move at different velocities from one another. This is called dispersion. And when light enters a medium at an angle, the different colors bend different amounts. Red light barely bends at all, green light bends some more, and blue light bends the most. This is called refraction. And the most famous way to separate out the different colors is to use a prism, such as this one shown in this Pink Floyd album. Now to create a rainbow, you have to have a light source behind you, and you have to have water droplets, such as those that form after a big rainstorm or the mist that comes off of a water fountain in a park. Light hits the raindrop from behind, and most of it travels right through. But some of it bounces back. And because of this process of dispersion and refraction, the different colors separate from one another, and you end up with red light exiting at a sharp angle around 42 degrees and blue light exiting around 40 degrees at a slightly less steep angle. Now, this isn't the only thing that can happen. You can also have the light bounce around multiple times within the raindrop. And in this case, light will exit at a second place. And now the colors will be reversed because of the geometry of the raindrop and the path that it takes through. So, here you have red light exiting on top, followed by green light and followed by blue light, while from the primary spot below that forms the primary rainbow, the colors will be opposite. You'll have blue light followed by red light followed by green light. So if you were to stand next to a raindrop in the right configuration at the right angle, you should see these two different spots form. So now we're ready to create our very own double rainbow. And to do this, we're going to need two things. The first is a light source to model the sun, and it needs to be behind us. So I've got here this halogen lamp. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, and this will be our artificial sun. You want to be below it, otherwise you won't be able to create the right angle. And the second thing you need is a raindrop. Now, you can use a number of different items around your house. I recommend using maybe something like this cylindrical jar here. You can empty out its contents and uh, fill it up with water. It'll make a very good raindrop. In my case, I happen to get a special commemorative Coca-Cola bottle for Christmas. It's in the, a spherical shape, and this will work quite well. Now, Coke is very delicious, but not very healthy for you, so we're going to go ahead and empty out the Coca-Cola, and instead fill this up with water. And once we've done this, we've now got our very own artificial raindrop. So all we have to do is to take this fake raindrop, Hold it up in front of us like this, and we start to raise it up. And when we get to the right angle, roughly around 40 something degrees, we're going to see a spot start to form right around here. And this spot will have all the different colors in it. It will have dispersed out because of the way the light bounces around in the rainbow or in the raindrop. And then if we raise it a little bit higher, a second stop, a spot starts to form, and that's the spot that is created from this double rainbow from the light bouncing around multiple times. Now, this could be quite difficult to see in the um, in daylight, so I went ahead and did this in a dark room earlier and I filmed it so you can uh, know what to expect. And here you can see is the different, as I move with the rainbow or the raindrop lit up and down, and see different spots start to form. And at some point we get two different very distinct spots and they have the right color order. The colors are, are inverted from one another. And so it is this type of effect that is what causes a double rainbow. And that's how you get a double rainbow. Thanks for watching. <laughs>